Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and this is a video that you guys have been requesting for a very very long time. Now in today's video we are going to showcase the setup that we used in the live stream that is Ancient OS along with Neutrino kernel. So I'll show you how to install it and the review will come later because it's going to come on a new ROM review system. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you can join us, be a part of our elite testers group and members group, whatever it is, it's up to you. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kailash, let's install Ancient OS on the Poco X3 Pro. So, as is the case with each and every install and preview, we will start talking about the prerequisites. For starters, you will need a POCO X3 Pro which has an unlocked bootloader and you are using TWRP recovery. You can use any TWRP of your choice and we are going to use a OTG cable because sometimes the internal storage gets detected, sometimes it doesn't. Now the process that we are going to do is we are going to wipe everything including internal storage right that means format data and everything then we are going to flash 12.0.6 vendor then the ROM then the kernel then we are going to boot reboot into TWRP now there is something that I will not be able to show you after the flashing is done so I will show you that before we actually start the flashing procedure so if we go to about phone over here and you go to firmware info you will see this is ancient OS 5.4 society and the kernel is neutrino kqing that is the dct version that is the performance version of this kernel all right so without further ado let's begin with the process of installing this amazing setup all right so we're ready to start the flashing procedure but disclaimer make sure all your data is backed up and make sure all your data is backed up and you should have more than 50 percent battery remove all the screen locks google accounts all the restrictions security remove them that will help you you know in avoiding any further problems fingerprints face unlocks go ahead and get rid of them all right so i do have a otg connected because i'm going to format internal storage but in case you don't have a otg cable and a pen drive handy you can go ahead and format data and then connect to pc or format data reboot recovery wipe everything as i'll show and then connect to pc and copy the files that can be done as well so let's go ahead with the flashing procedure let's go to advanced and let's go to recovery now there are a bunch of recoveries available for bhima and vayu and a lot of people have that question that uh, which one do you have i have the indian version that is bhima and so far whatever i have tried it is working absolutely fine and i have to tell you that almost every alternate day there will be a video coming on the poco x3 pro on this channel so if you you're new you have a x3 pro subscribe because the amount of live streams and content that you're going to see you're just gonna fall in love with it all right so we are in twrp so we will go to wipe format data that is the first thing that we will do okay now once that is done go to reboot and select recovery i will link the twrp that i have used in the description as well don't worry now i'll show you the steps both for the OTG version and for the PC version where you want to copy the files. So still, wipe, advanced, Dalvik cache, internal storage, that's it. Wipe, Dalvik, data, internal storage and cache. Don't wipe the cursed or metadata. I have not done that, so don't do that. There you go, you've wiped it. Now at this point, you can choose to connect the phone to the computer. It should get detected and copy over the files. Now I'll show you the files that we need. They are linked in the description. So if you go to install and select storage, my USB OTG is mentioned, so let's go to ancient over here. Now, what all do we have over here? Okay, so we have the firmware of 12.0.6, we have the ROM, we have the kernel. So what we will do here is we will first flash the firmware, then add more zips. Okay, after that the ROM, add more zips and last the kernel. Now remember the sequence because that is very very critical guys. If you flash one file before the other there would be problems. Slow down the video that feature is available in YouTube. Step by step follow it because this is going to give you a stunning experience in gameplay, a stunning experience in UI. I used it for two to three days as my personal device and the personal ROM it didn't really give me any trouble. So I'm going to make a review on this really really soon. 
Now, what you can see over here is that the ROM is being flashed, which will take around three to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so as you can see over here, we have successfully flashed everything. Always it's a good practice to go ahead and make sure that everything has been flashed. So the firmware flashed just fine. Then we moved to the ROM, the ROM flashed just fine. And the last thing that flashed was the kernel. So we've got everything going in one flash. Now click on reboot system. Now this is the first boot and you know, you are in 2021. This is a Snapdragon 860. It will not take 10 minutes to boot. So if it takes more than five minutes on a custom ROM, which is based on AOSP, boy, we have a problem. Let's wait for it to boot up and there you see the boot animation is there and it's a very very simplistic boot animation looks great. Let's wait for the ROM to boot up and then we can see the remaining steps. Alright, what do we have here? Ancient ROM plus Neutrino kernel booted successfully in the first flash. So if you go to about phone, you go to firmware info. 5.4 society and the kernel is neutrino so in a nutshell what you saw today how to install the latest ancient rom doing a clean flash with the latest 12.0.6 firmware and the best neutrino kernel with which i've had a decent experience so this itself calls for an amazing setup and if you think the hard work is worth the effort please subscribe and please support us until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye